Alright, welcome back to more Two Gay Guys Play. Um, the Order 1896. Let's climb up a ladder. I'm not seeing any button prompts for this ladder, so I don't think this ladder is real. Then he just falls off of it. Yeah. Um, Alright, I did what you were you told me to do. They just taught me how to run. Oh, good. Which I totally figured out before, but... Oh. Ah. This shit has to be intentional. Yeah. We need to press forward. Um, dear. That's what I'm trying to do. Pursue with your lightning gun. This isn't suspicious or anachronistic at all. No. I mean, I get that there, there's, you know, a mortal... Okay. That turned out well for her. That thing you told me to do didn't work. <laughs> right, do I just need to... Is this, it'll here. reload from the checkpoint. Alright. Shoot, 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 shoot. Out of the way. There. Woo. I, I, I agree with you. I don't like that it just goes black. Yeah. I think the game crashed. Yeah. I mean, we're in that video game generation where... Console crashing happens. Everyone all right? Never yes. ever had an SNES game crash is all I'm saying. I mean, the worst that we had is you put in the cartridge with it not being properly cleaned and the contacts and stuff hitting it's it. It's like, mm -hmm. And immediately you know this is not right. Yeah. Acknowledge. Yeah, we don't know what's happening. Yeah. Let's go. So, we fought some werewolves. I mean, I'd poke it too. <laughs> Most realistic thing in this game so far. Just oh, be yeah. like, ew, gross. <laughs> yeah, arrest these poor people. What should we do with him? Westminster to the catacombs. We'll deal with him later. He's got a I magnificent beard. Yeah, like, how do you keep that clean in this day and age? These royal knights might be mixed up in this affray. We had reason to suspect a rebel incursion, Commissioner. I mean, I, I assume when you're functionally immortal, you've found ways to groom yourself. That's true. Event. Perhaps this might be of interest. Oh, it's Why the order, 1886. Of <laughs> I call it evidence. Well, circumstantial evidence can be a tricky animal, my dear Sir Percival. His mustache is ridiculous. One thing, I mean, I'm okay with it. But yeah. shift your point of view I mean, all of their facial hair is silly because they're, this is the era where if your wife just bursts out laughing and you walk out with a mustache, you're allowed to beat her to death. Oh, yeah. So I assume that's what killed uh, and then terrible Jack mustaches is feminism. <laughs> And then this. So thank you, women. Yeah, thank you for Still laughing at Whitechapel has become the epicenter at, at the this. Of all of this. Conundrums. Yeah, just all this crap. We must examine. Like, especially those mustaches that are like sideburns attached to mustaches and uh, no beard. Yeah. It's just like, at no point did his wife go, are you fucking kidding me? I mean, I'll give it to you. That's creative. I'll give you an A for effort. Yeah, but now here's a razor. Make it go away. Please. <laughs> For the love of God. Remove also, it from face. something that I don't think I've brought up in previous episodes. Uh -huh. This would be fun to cosplay. Oh, yeah, like, absolutely. They've got some neat outfits. Like, and it doesn't feel like it's trolling cosplayers like Final Fantasy games. <laughs> uh, like, every time I look at, like, 13 or 13-2, 13 I'm like, this is just designed to piss off cosplayers. I mean... I would so argue against right. 13 because for the most part everyone sure is just a, a casual citizen wearing whatever. Like, Snow, of course. it's just like a tank top, a huge jacket, yeah. pants Something's and boots. Uh, but like lightning, has like booty shorts and like half a sleeve <laughs> and like an unfoldy sword a cape. and like a half a cape. It's like a one shoulder cape. A belly button in case, piercing. Yeah, in case parts of her are chilly. <laughs> like, and then you get like, whatever the guy's name is in 13-2, Caius? Yeah. It was just like in purple latex rubber. Yeah, uh, in a giant bodysuit. Uh, and then you have like 15 where they're all just in suits, and I'm like, good, yeah. thank you, Jesus it's, Christ. There's actual fashion designers that made those clothes, which is like, that's neat. Century. Not a guy who jerks off onto belt buckles. <laughs> he got to make their faces, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> he made clothes, and then they changed that, and now he's just not in charge anymore, period. Okay, so you're an immortal breed, you're an immortal group of werewolf hunters. Okay. King Arthur. Ah, yes, wow, that makes sense. Somebody had to be. his name be forever resplendent. Is it true? 
Did the Lord Chancellor fight by Arthur? I mean, I wish they had like name tags so I could see all of their names. Today, yeah, that'd be really nice. Like... Okay, we're in chapter two now. Great. Upset by a new contagion, the rebellion. Okay. As long as it's campaign of anarchy and terror. I mean, you're be you look like an old racist from a like, like an Civil War movie. That yeah. Infected our city. I'm going to assume there's not a lot of um, quick time events here during the king's uh, speech. Yeah, I, I, press, not like press X not to stutter. <laughs> press square to stealth fart. <laughs> I'd, I'd, I would play that game. Oh my god, yeah. Uh, somebody code a game that's just about farting without anybody noticing. During a very, very intense meeting. <laughs> like, you know what he looks like? He looks like every actor who plays Robert E. Lee in movies who really want to romanticize somebody who, like, defended slavery. Yeah. Oh. Like, I have no idea how true it is. My grandmother swears we're descended from Robert E. Lee as though that's something to be proud of. Right. That's like, something you should bury. Yeah. Though it was funny, like, uh, a friend of mine in Arkansas, we had a, uh, a terrible ancestor off. Uh huh. Uh, where my ancestors are worse because we actually did bad things. Uh, she's a direct descendant of Benedict Arnold. Oh, but he didn't actually do. You know, he, you can't betray a country that doesn't exist yet. True. Uh, he, that he basically went fuck this when the you know revolution fucked him over. Yeah. I was like, yeah, but I realize both names are bad, but Benedict Arnold is bad in the entire U.S. Even though he didn't do anything bad. <laughs> Lord Hastings, Lord Dunglass. He does, Lord Chancellor. Perhaps the question should be put to the council. Just like, I assume you're from Minnesota, so you're a descendant Very from well. like nice people who like farmed what cheese. The order <laughs> of Her farmed cheese. I don't know. I assume they planted a little bit of blue in the ground and outsprung Swiss and Provolone. Yeah, and cheese curds. Like they're just. Oh, they're don't just, remind me. They actually like, do remind me. It's just like a tree and instead of bundles of grapes, it's fried cheese curds. Yes. Jesus Christ, I would <laughs> fuck that tree. <laughs> so, so has everyone in this state. That's where they come from. <laughs> There were little bundles action. of cheese curds once. Oh, yes. God, that sounds disgusting, actually. Don't want to talk about that. I don't no, want we to talk about semen <laughs> cheese curds. I don't know. Although, <laughs> at the end of our, our DuckTales, we were talking about Midwest porn. And it was just <laughs> fucking and eating cheese curds. Oh, I can walk now? Good. Nope. No, I can't. Fine. Block the way. Jesus so, Christ. Be a little more... Uh, I, I can only run when I when I have a gun. Apparently, oh, she's talking to somebody. You better go help her out, cause that woman's gonna need some assistance. Place, Lady I think that's our boss. That's our General Sherman boss. Or, gotcha. Well, or or our General Lee. Whatever. Your your beard is terrible, and I hate it. Arthur. I don't need everyone to be clean shaven, but you you could look like. You know, like a '70s model or like a guy in a Land's End catalog, yeah. where you have a very like perfectly trimmed beard. Like the other guy, his mustache was ridiculous, but his beard was fine. Yeah, like basically, mustache wax God, is a like beard. yeah, that guy. Like his beard is fine, right? Guy. But his mustache is is out of control. Like he's got that weird thing around his neck, America? like uh, you know, Lord he's broly, and at any time it can break, and, and then we'll no longer How have uh, the control over him, and Goku and friends will have to fight him. Is that seriously what happens in that movie? Yeah, he's okay. got the control things like on his forehead and on his chest and stuff. I like all the uh, they're terrible wigs. I, I do like that, but I like the all the little anachronisms where it's like the United British India Company. I'm like, okay, cool. So you. The I guess the concept is it wasn't like bought out and then rebought by different countries. You mm. know as well as I do, the White Chapel is the key to these. You're just renaming, a, you know, just little things, right? Uh, like few dead That other guy's hair looks great, by the way. Is yeah, that guy. He's also clean shaven. Yeah, he's just, he's just slicked back. He's got some. he got some slave oil in it, I assume. <laughs> Well, sla slave slavery is over here, but maybe not for these guys because they're all immortal from the thousands. True. Like, if they're from King Arthur's time, like, they definitely believe in slavery. Yeah, very true. So, we have King Arthur, who's, you know, head of the vampire hunters, did a, a, a watery tart in a lake, throw him a lightning gun, and said, go forth and fight werewolves. I mean, I hope so. That seems like a good base of government. God, that's all I want. Like, yeah, take the dog out. It's just a lightning gun. Uh, don't worry, it's not weird. What's uh, weird is werewolves. 
kill them. Yeah, when they're like, women distributing swords is a, is a good source for government. I was like, yeah, but then she'd give it to Hillary and you'd hate her and, and try and burn the lake down. <laughs> How does one burn a Will lake down, though? They try and figure it out. <laughs> How does, you know... Sort of uh, academically crisis. criticizing video games mean you have to have an armed guard and wear bulletproof vests. Well, it just comes with the territory, but we can explore more of that territory next time on Two Gay Guys Play. Okay. All right.